This is the part 4 of a tractor in Revit without using the dynamo. In part 2 we've created an adaptive cylinder with a corner attractor. In part 3 we've created an adaptive cylinder with a centered attractor. In today's tutorial we will make an adaptive cylinder with a multiple attractor points in just simple steps. Let's start. Open the adaptive cylinder with centered attractor family from our previous tutorial. Or see the link in the description below. First let's change all the type parameters to instance parameters. So we can associate the parameters once we load it into the project. Go to family types. Select the cylinder finish. Then select edit parameter. Select instance. OK. Select attractor distance. Then select edit parameter. Select instance. OK. Select attractor divisor. Then select edit parameter. Select instance. OK. Select U grid. Then select edit parameter. Select instance. OK. Select V grid. Then select edit parameter. Select instance. OK. OK. Save as the family. Next. Open a new family. And select metric generic model pattern based. Open. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Then check is reference line. Select point element. Pick at midpoint. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Then check is reference line. Repeat the process. Next, select this four reference lines. Then select create form. Select the surface. Select the surface. Select divide surface. Change the V grid and U grid number to one. Go back to adaptive cylinder with a centered attractor. Load into project and close. Select family one. OK. Select the divide surface. Go to properties. And select the adaptive cylinder center attractor. Select the pattern. Press tab to cycle the selection. Cylinder finish. Associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Name it. Cylinder finish. OK. OK. Attractor distance. Associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Name it. Attractor distance. OK. OK. Attractor divisor. Associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Name it. Attractor divisor 1. OK. OK. Go to U grid number. Select new parameter. Name it. U grid. OK. OK. Go to V grid number. Associate family parameter. Name it. V grid. OK. OK. Next. Select this four reference lines. 
Then select Create Form. Select the surface. Select the surface. Then select the Divide Surface. Change the V-Grid and U-Grid number to 1. Go to Properties. And select the Adaptive Cylinder Center Attractor. Select the Pattern. And associate Family Parameters. Attractor Divisor. Associate Family Parameter. Let's create separate parameter for each pattern. To simulate multiple attractor points. Select New Parameter. Name it. Attractor Divisor 2. OK. Go to U Grid Number. And associate Family Parameters. Go to V Grid Number. And associate Family Parameters. Continue the rest of the patterns. Now let's test the parameters. Change the U-Grid and V-Grid number to 6. And change the Attractor Divisor 1 to 4 in different values. Apply. Perfect. OK. Now we've created a pattern with multiple attractor points. Uncheck Shared. Save the family. Name it. Adaptive Cylinder Multiple Point Attractor. Save the family. Load into project and close. Let's apply the pattern into the wall. Go to level 1. Let's create a reference plane to host the family. Let's add a name for the reference plane. Go to Section. Go to Massing and Site. First let's turn on the Show Mass. Then select In Place Mass. Mass 1. OK. Select the Rectangle. Then specify the name of work plane in the list. OK. Draw a rectangle. Select the rectangle. Then check his reference line. Then select create form. Select the surface. Select the surface. Press tab to cycle the selection. Then select the Divide Surface. Change the V-Grid and U-Grid number to 1. Go to Properties. And select Adaptive Cylinder Multiple Point Attractors. Go to 3D. 
Go to Edit Type. Let's try to change the value of the parameters. Apply. OK. Finish the mass. Now we've created an adaptive cylinder with multiple point attractors onto the wall. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.